What's going on guys, Will Nace here. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, tonight we're here in the snake room again. Uh, gotta do a little updates on some stuff a lot of people have been asking about. And also gonna be feeding my biggest snake in here. So stay tuned, hopefully you guys do enjoy it. All right, so um, I don't remember if I put this in an episode or not, but I put all three Easterns in here together. I know I put, I believe, the two normals, but I put the female head albino in here too with them. Why do you gotta be right there? Why do you gotta be right there? So I put them in here together just for right now. I'm gonna clean these two cages out and uh, put something else in them. Don't really know what. Um, can I get you to back up, baby? Because I don't, I don't need you in my face when I go to get your poop. Rattlesnakes love to have their skin their chin scratched. I did say that funny. Oh, you like your chin scratched? Okay, well, since you're being a pain in my butt. So the normal female in here does have a name now. Uh, Mark Garvey has been a, a longtime patron of ours. Um, I actually did name her Savannah. So now all three of my Easterns have a name. So you have Savannah, Kratos, and Venom. All three of them I like. They're not bad names, so I can't complain. Also, if you notice, there's a TV in the snake room now. Very awkward, I know. I'm trying to figure out how I can do live streams in here for you guys so that like I can pull snakes out during live streams or super chats or something, whatever. Still trying to figure out the details on that, so I kind of hung it up in here, took it out of the office, because as you guys know, the office has been crazy. Uh, so yeah, working that out here in the future, hopefully to have that soon. Uh, who else has a name? Ah, oh, the South American. So the South American, um, now Logan, who is a very long time patron of ours as well, and has bought us, I can't even imagine how much off of the wish list. He's bought us quite a bit of stuff um, off the wish list. Decided to name the South American. Uh, so, <laughs> So happens that one of his favorite bands is also one of my favorite bands, which is named Lamb of God. Um, now I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but one of both of our favorite songs by them is called Omar, or, or how do you say it? Omerda. 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 If I'm saying that correctly, it's a very awkward name, but I like it because it's again one of my favorite bands. Um, she, hopefully it is a she, um, not really sure. Justin, uh, when he comes over to sex, the baby rattlesnakes is actually gonna be sexing that snake too. I believe it is a female. Just shed, yes I know, the cage is open for all of you people that like to comment um, about stuff like that. The cage is open, it's okay, I do trust that snake. So, nice little shed for it, a little dirty, but you know what, let's feed her too. Why not, we can feed her. Yeah, so. Watch this, ready? No rat? Rat. Isn't filmmaking awesome? Anyway, so uh, yeah, so she just shed. I didn't get to feed her the last couple times because she's been in shed for a little bit now. So let's go ahead and give this to her. Why don't you guys come a little closer so you get this nice detail. I absolutely love this snake. This snake is one of my favorite rattlesnakes. Do you want it? Do you want it? Oh yeah, it's a rat. Oh, look at it shaking. Nice, nice little bite. Let's go ahead and just lay that right there for you. Close that up. Boom. So, absolutely in love with this snake. Happy that I do have South American species. So, that is a really big pile of poop. And it smells so bad too. So now, believe it or not, this one giant pile of poop is from one of these snakes. 
Um, for those of you that don't remember, I've been upping the size of the rats for my medium-sized rattlesnakes, so they're all eating medium-sized rats now. That is one entire rat. It's pretty gross. Uh, but it looks like only one of them used the bathroom. I'm gonna go with it was the uh, darker one back there, cause uh, yeah, that was August. I'm gonna go with that was August because yeah, that was, she's still very fat. All right, um, one more name that I did want to show you guys. I need a hook, stay there, don't move, don't move. Got it. Um, so we did have one more snake named. Um, Summer's least favorite snake out of all of the snakes here in the snake room. <sighs> Let's see what kind of mood she's in. So this is the female albino monocle cobra. Now, her name is Jessica. Because Jessica, who's also one of our Patreons, decided to name her after herself, which is com <laughs> completely okay. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so she's got a name now and I believe both Cobras have names, except for the banded Egyptian, if I'm not mistaken. So there's a reason why I don't like this snake. This snake's a little crazy. Well, Summer doesn't like this snake. I like this snake. Okay, bye. I have to clean your cage later now because it's dirty. Yeah, so that's all the new names going on here in the snake room. I'm gonna have to put labels on the snake cages with all their names because there are so many now, I can't even keep up. It's crazy. We actually have them all written down because there's so many names. But anyway, with that being said, well, I'm gonna put a hold on cleaning cages for right now. Well, I can't say that because I do have to pull the berm out and clean his cage because he did shed. So if you come over here and look, he looks, well, don't mind my face, Mark. I was talking to him sweetly through the glass. But yeah, he did shed in there. Um, definitely need to uh, pull him out really quick before we go ahead and feed him. Uh, I'm gonna pull him out, give him a good look over, make sure none of that skin uh, stuck to him because I have had problems with that in the past. And then we gotta feed him a rabbit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out so we can get some of the skin cleaned up. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys by this point have seen that crazy video of the lady that got tagged by her own retic but didn't freak out. Uh, Nerd just recently posted a video on it um, and Kevin reacted to it, which I thought was really good. Um, you know, showing the true factor. Does it make the reptile community look bad? Yes, because that video went viral. But uh, I know you're hungry, buddy. Let me open up the glass on the other side. But uh, yeah, that video was nuts, but the lady honestly handled it like a champ. So now I just use a snake hook until I get him out of the cage so he knows it's not feeding time. All right, it's not feeding time. Not yet, it will be in a minute. But first it's cleaning time. There he is. Getting some size on you, starting to eat rabbits now. Oh, I love this boy. Oh, you're so nice and toasty. All right, in the trash can you go, so our daddy can clean your cage. Uh, a lot of people have asked me recently, um, or on past videos with him, if I was ever planning on breeding him. No, no, I'm not planning on breeding him. Uh, the only reason I still have him is because, again, I've had him since he was a little tiny baby. Um, for all you new subscribers that don't know that yet, um, this Burmese python I've had for going on, I want to say almost seven years now. Huh. There's an isopod in there wonder where he came from all right so yeah as you can see his shed wasn't too great because it didn't come off in one piece it's in multiple little pieces not really a problem uh, I should have probably raised the humidity up a little bit uh, in here beforehand but it all came off so it looks good and it looks like I'm gonna need to do a bedding change in here so honestly when I 
go to Lowe's or Home Depot and I get mulch, I usually get about 12 bags at a time of mulch because of how much I go through it. So I do use the eucalyptus mulch for these guys because it actually has a natural pesticide in it. So, boom. And I'm definitely gonna have to do it again because he shed everywhere. All right, water. Bump that humidity up, and there we go. All right. Should we feed him outside of the cage or inside of the cage? Let's feed him outside of the cage. Why not? Why not? Let me just get it ready so he can go back in it. Throw this over here. Go right. look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. I love him. The big boy. Oh, here. I'll change. There you go. So technically that is a Everglades, Florida Everglades Burmese python. So he was hatched in the Florida Everglades and became a pet and now a permanent resident. So, all right, I'm gonna go get a rabbit and then we're gonna feed him. All right guys, so I do have a rabbit. The rabbit I'm feeding him today is not too big. It's on the smaller size. Um, I know he's gonna smell that thing already. So I just did touch the rabbit so I don't wanna touch him with my hands. The South American's already starting to eat his meal. Oh, are you upside down? Come on. Woo, you're okay. I know you smell that rabbit already. Come here, buddy. Solid muscle. Beast. Drip, 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 drip. Come on. Hey. Look what I got. Look what I got. Look what I got. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. So I would hate to actually, thinking about that video now, I'd hate to have been that lady and got wrapped up by that retic because that retic had to be 14 15 feet long and these things are straight powerhouses so we'll wrap him up so you see right here he's just wrapping around the top half of the rabbit only um, he could continue but he probably won't uh, just trying to give that rabbit cardiac arrest by stopping his heart and breathing Actually, if you guys come on over here, you look right here at the bottom jaw, you can actually see his uh, trachea open and closing. So this is what they breathe out of when they're trying to eat their food. Let's see, right now it's closed. So give it a minute and see if he opens it. No, you're not gonna open it? No, I guess not. Well, he liked it. My snakes like to call me a liar sometimes. Hey, the South American's eating. Look at that guy. That, that's, I love that snake. All right, so I'm not gonna sit here and film him eating this rabbit because if you haven't seen this already on my channel, just go back and watch another video because I have plenty of videos of this dude eating rabbits. So we're gonna go ahead and put him back up into the enclosure, let him eat his meal. You're getting blood on you. Oh my God, he's touching me. There he is. He's probably very upset that I'm picking him up right now. So super cool. This snake is probably about seven years old now. I'll have him until the day he dies. My floor is soaking wet. That's a lot of water. That should do it. Well, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little update on everything. 
Um, got lots more to do this week. I've been super busy uh, building another vivarium here at the house, but I have to finish cleaning these snakes tonight because it is garbage night. So subscribe if you aren't already, smash that like button if you haven't already, and big thank you for watching guys. I do appreciate it. If you guys would like to become a Patreon um, and support me even further than YouTube, definitely check out the link below. We have lots of new tiers on there. Um, I'm actually about to do a whole makeover on my Patreon or remake over, I should say, uh, cause I want to change some things up. So hopefully you guys, um, you know, look at it if you haven't in a long time, because there has been some stuff changed on there, but I will see you guys in the next video. Like always. Bye.